Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're checking out some of the best mini PCs you can get right now. From budget-friendly desktops to powerful compact machines that can replace a full tower. I'll cover the features, pros and cons, and prices. I'll also highlight which one is best for you, whether that's everyday work, creative projects, or even gaming. Stick around to find out my top picks. Let's jump right in. First up is the Geekum A9 Max, which starts at around $999. This one is a really impressive mini PC, packing AMD's Ryzen AI 9 HX370, which has 10 cores and 20 threads, along with the integrated Radeon 890M graphics. My test unit had 32GB of DDR5 RAM and a 2TB PCIe 4 SSD, so it's more than capable for almost anything you throw at it. One of the first things you notice is how many ports it has. There's dual HDMI 2.1, dual 2.5GB LAN, 5 USB-A ports, 2 USB-C ports with USB 4 and DisplayPort support, and Wi-Fi 7 built in. That's a ton of connectivity in a mini PC, so you can hook up multiple monitors, external drives, and all your peripherals without needing adapters. In everyday use, the A9 Max feels like a full desktop in a tiny box. Web browsing, office work, video editing, multitasking, it handles all of it without slowing down. The gaming performance is pretty solid too. You can run eSports titles at high frame rates, and medium settings in most AAA games are totally playable at 1080p. It's not perfect though. The fans do get a little loud when you push it hard, and the secondary NVMe slot is a small M.2 2230, so your storage upgrades are limited. But for anyone looking for a mini PC that's powerful, versatile, and AI ready, this is a really strong option. It's also surprisingly compact for the amount of power it delivers, which is nice if you're limited on desk space. Next up is the B-Link Sur 8 Mini PC, starting at around $500. This compact machine packs AMD's Ryzen 7 8745HS with 8 cores and 16 threads, capable of boosting up to 4.9GHz, paired with 32GB DDR5 RAM, and a 1TB PCIe 4.0 SSD. For a mini PC this size, it's surprisingly powerful for everyday tasks, media consumption, and light productivity. The Sur 8 stands out for its quiet operation and efficient cooling. Even under sustained workloads, the fans stay almost inaudible, and the all-metal chassis dissipates heat very effectively. It's perfect if you want a mini PC in a living room or office where silence is important. Connectivity is excellent. It supports triple display setups with HDMI and DisplayPort, USB 4, Wi-Fi 6, and Bluetooth 5.2. You can hook up multiple monitors, external drives, and peripherals without running into bottlenecks. Plus, the 4K at 144Hz capacity makes it ideal for media playback or light gaming on high-resolution displays. In real-world usage, it handles everyday productivity like office apps, web browsing, and streaming without issues. Light video editing and photo work are smooth, and casual 1080p gaming runs comfortably. Compared to higher-end mini PCs like the Geekum A9 Max, it's less powerful, but its quiet performance and efficient design make it ideal for users who prioritize a calm workspace over raw horsepower. So, if silence and reliability are more important than raw horsepower, the Sur 8 is a solid choice. It's especially good for students or office setups where noise would be distracting. Next, the GMK Tech Evo X2 AI Mini PC, starting at around $2,000, is an absolute powerhouse. It's built around AMD's Ryzen AI Max Plus 395, capable of up to 5.1 GHz with 16 cores and 32 threads. The system comes with 128GB LPDDR5X RAM and a 2TB PCIe 4.0 SSD, making it one of the most capable mini PCs for multitasking. It's designed for serious productivity. You can edit multiple 4K video timelines, run Photoshop, and have numerous browser tabs open at the same time without any slowdowns. The dedicated AI engine makes tasks like image upscaling, video enhancement, and AI-assisted workflows feel instant. For developers, creatives, or anyone working with AI-heavy applications, this is a machine that can handle workloads most other mini-PCs can't touch. 
gaming is impressive as well. With support for quad screen 8K displays, you can even set up multiple monitors for gaming or productivity. AAA titles like Cyberpunk 2077 or Assassin's Creed run very well at 1440p with high settings, and casual esports titles perform flawlessly. It's not a desktop class GPU, but the combination of CPU, AI engine, and Radeon graphics keeps it extremely capable for both gaming and work. Thermals are higher under heavy load, with CPU temperatures reaching the high 90s. Fans do ramp up noticeably, but that's expected for this level of performance. Compared to the Geekum A9 Max or B-Link Sir 8, the Evo X2 dominates in raw power, multitasking, and AI workflows, though it sacrifices some silence and portability. If you want extreme performance in a compact mini PC, the GMK Tech Evo X2 is truly a tiny powerhouse. Next up, the Minis Forum AI X1 Pro. Starting at around $1,100, it's one of the most versatile mini PCs on the market. It's powered by AMD's Ryzen AI 9 HX370 with 12 cores and 24 threads, paired with AMD Radeon 890M graphics. My unit comes with 96GB DDR5 RAM and a 2TB SSD, so multitasking, creative work, and even some AI-driven tasks run smoothly. The port selection is excellent for a compact PC. You get HDMI and DisplayPort outputs, 2X USB 4 ports, 2X RJ45 Ethernet ports, Wi-Fi 7, and Bluetooth 5.4. That means you can easily connect multiple monitors, high-speed storage, and network devices without juggling adapters. It also supports Copilot AI features, which adds some extra convenience for productivity and creative tasks. In real-world use, the AI X1 Pro feels effortless. You can edit 4K video, handle multiple Office apps, run design software, and have a dozen browser tabs open simultaneously without slowdowns. Light gaming at 1080p is smooth, and the Radeon 890M handles casual titles comfortably. The cooling system does an excellent job, even under sustained workloads. Temperatures stay moderate, and the fans remain relatively quiet compared to other high-performance mini-PCs. Compared to the Geekum A9 Max, the X1 Pro is stronger for multitasking and heavier workloads thanks to the extra RAM and AI support. It's also a great option if you want a single mini-PC that can handle productivity, creative work, AI tasks, and light gaming, all in a compact and quiet package. For someone who wants versatility, performance, and future-proofing, the Minis Forum AI X1 Pro is an outstanding choice. Next up is the Apple Mac Mini M4, starting at $500. This one is a bit different from the other mini PCs on the list because it's fanless, silent, and ultra-efficient. It's powered by Apple's M4 chip, which has a 10-core CPU and 10-core GPU, along with 16GB of unified memory and a 256GB SSD. It's built for productivity and creative workflows, and it integrates seamlessly with other Apple devices like iPhones and iPads. In daily use, the Mac Mini M4 is incredibly smooth, opening multiple apps, running Safari with dozens of tabs, working in Office or Google Workspace, or even doing light video or photo editing feels seamless. Applications optimized for Apple Silicon, like Final Cut Pro or Logic Pro, run incredibly efficiently and make full use of the M4's performance cores and GPU. You can handle 4K video editing, music production, and creative design tasks without noticeable slowdowns. Connectivity is straightforward but effective. Five Thunderbolt 4 ports, HDMI 2.1, Gigabit Ethernet, and a headphone jack. While it lacks USB-A ports or an SD card reader, you can easily use adapters or hubs if needed. Because it's fanless, it runs completely silently, which is amazing for a home office or a studio where noise is a concern. Temperatures stay low, and energy efficiency is excellent, meaning it won't heat up your workspace or use excessive power. Compared to the other mini PCs, it's not meant for gaming, but for creative work, coding, or general productivity. It's incredibly capable. If you're deeply invested in the Apple ecosystem and want a quiet, compact, and reliable workstation, the Mac Mini M4 is a perfect fit. Finally, the Asus ROG NUC 15, starting at around $3,200, is the ultimate mini PC for gaming and high-performance workloads. 
It's powered by Intel's Core Ultra 9 Aero Lake HX CPU, paired with an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 5080 mobile GPU, 32GB DDR5 RAM, and a 2TB NVMe SSD. Essentially, it's a full gaming desktop squeezed into a compact form factor. This machine handles virtually anything you throw at it. AAA titles like Cyberpunk 2077, Assassin's Creed, and Call of Duty run smoothly at high settings, and it can even handle VR gaming without issue. Content creators will appreciate the power for video editing, 3D rendering, and streaming simultaneously. With Thunderbolt 4 support, you can connect multiple high-speed peripherals, monitors, or storage devices, making it a very versatile workstation. The cooling system is impressive for a mini PC. It features triple fan cooling and ARGB lighting, keeping temperatures in check under heavy workloads. Idle usage is fairly quiet, but push it hard with gaming or rendering and the fans ramp up. Noticeable, but not overwhelming. For such high-end performance, that's expected. Compared to other mini PCs, the NUC 15 delivers desktop-level gaming and content creation performance in the fraction of the space. However, its premium price point may place it out of reach for many users. Overall, it's ideal for gamers, creators, or anyone who wants a compact powerhouse capable of handling anything from AAA games to intensive creative workloads. If you're looking for the ultimate mini PC with raw power, versatility, and a touch of style, this is it. Alright, that wraps up today's roundup. Hopefully this breakdown helps you figure out which option fits your needs best. Thanks for hanging out. I'll see you in the next video.